Hello, I'm Sergeant Constable Detective Officer Peter Pisspot from Twat Valley Police. Like many of you, I am disappointed today to learn of Government Advisor Dominic Cummings' brazen, willful flouting of vital lockdown rules. It is my understanding that having contracted COVID-19, this ne'er-do-well contravened lockdown measures that he himself had been involved in instigating and travelled hundreds of miles with his similarly infected wife and child to visit his elderly parents on their Durham farm. What we advise at this time is that no matter how much you may dislike your parents, if they are elderly, they are almost certainly at high risk of contracting COVID-19. So probably best not to visit them, especially if you are already sick with the virus yourself. It might be that upon your parents' death you are set to receive a substantial inheritance, but that is no reason to usher them into an early grave by sharing your deadly germs with them at this time. The information we've received is that Mr Cummings was given a ticking off from the Durham Constabulary, which with due respect is a bit of a slap in the face for police all over the country trying to enforce lockdown protocol amongst the public this weekend. Perhaps what police across the country need to do at this point is get together, communicate and try to work out what the rules are and how we should be enforcing them consistently. There is some speculation as to what sort of punishment Mr Cummings should receive. Some people are calling for his sacking. I myself am a keen proponent of a solid kick in the knackers. Some individuals have suggested Mr Cummings should do a stretch in prison, which I think is a bit harsh. He's not the sort of chap who would get on well in that environment. In truth, he'd probably come out of there with an arse like a falafel sandwich. We would ask people to stay alert at this time and be aware that just because the government's telling you you're not allowed to do something does not mean they're not fucking doing it themselves.